an overview of capital gains tax for SMSFs. If you're the trustee of a self-managed super fund, SMSF, it's important to understand how your fund's returns may be affected by capital gains tax. Here's an overview of how it works. SMSF trustees can generate returns for their fund by buying and selling investment assets with the money in it. When it comes to capital gains tax, CGT, obligations specifically, the Australian Taxation Office, ATO, explains that any net capital gains an SMSF makes from selling certain assets may attract CGT. What is a capital gain? You make a capital gain if you end up with a profit after selling an asset. For example, if you bought an investment property for $300,000 and sold it a few years later for $400,000, you would have made a capital gain of around $100,000. How much capital gains tax do SMSFs have to pay? The general rule. The income of an SMSF including income from capital gains is generally taxed at a concessional rate of 15% while the SMSF is in the accumulation phase. Any capital gains and losses an SMSF makes during a financial year will be included in the fund's assessable income, so if its gains are more than its losses, it will normally have to pay CGT of 15% on the excess. Non-complying funds. The ATO warns that non-complying SMSFS, those that fail to meet their legal obligations, are not eligible for concessional tax treatment, so they will have to pay a much higher tax rate on all their assessable income, including from capital gains. The one-third discount rule. If an SMSF sells an asset it has owned for at least 12 months, the ATO indicates the fund may be entitled to discount the capital gain by one-third, so only two-thirds of the gain would be subject to tax. CGT exemptions for SMSFs. An SMSF may qualify for further tax concessions or exemptions, depending on its members' circumstances. If any members of an SMSF have entered the retirement phase, i.e. the SMSF has started paying them a retirement income stream, then the SMSF may pay even less CGT according to the ATO. If you're an SMSF trustee considering whether to sell an asset for a capital gain, then it could be worth considering the rules around these concessions and exemptions carefully. The interaction between CGT and SMSFS is a highly complex area of Australia's super system.